Okay, let's talk about how to select the right lens for your applications. Uh, lens technology can be confusing if you get into the technical aspects of it, but we don't need to do that. We're going to talk about it here, and in five minutes you'll completely understand it. Um, we'll, we'll give you two basic, simple rules to follow, and you'll get it right every time. Okay. Now, um, I've drawn a, a, this drawing up here represents the most common lenses used in, in video surveillance. 2.8, 3.6 are wide angle lens, 6 millimeter is a mid range lens, and then 12 millimeters is a zoomed in view. So that's zoomed in, and this is wide angle. Let's go to a wide angle view so you, we can show you what a 3.6 millimeter lens looks like. Okay, this is a 3.6 millimeter wide angle view. Um, let's go to our drawing here and look at this real quick. This is for, as if you, the top looking down. This, let's say that this drawing is laying on the ground. Okay. Um, the 3.6 millimeter lens opens up very wide very quickly. As you can see, we have a lot of horizontal distance here. And that's what we need to talk about is horizontal distance. When we went wide angle, the angle went like this, and now we can see a lot more horizontally. The problem is things got smaller. So what happens is you cover a lot of ground up close by the camera, but as you go out from the camera, things get small quickly. So you don't want to use a wide angle lens, 3.6 or 2.8, any further out than 40 feet. If you're trying to identify a person's face or a car or something past 40 feet, you're not going to do it. It's just too wide of an angle. The sweet spot is 25 to 30 feet. They, they work very well, but they can also, you know, you can be as close as five feet to these things and, and you're going to get lots of detail. The six millimeter lens is uh, one step out, it's for a little longer distances. Let's go to a six millimeter lens view so you can kind of take a look at how that might look. Now we're at a six millimeter view. You'll notice the horizontal distance that we're covering has gotten smaller, uh, but I'm much larger. And so we zoomed in. So what happens is as you zoom in out past 40 feet to 50, 60 feet, your horizontal distance becomes smaller, but the person and the detail becomes larger. Um, same thing with the 12 millimeter. Let's, uh, let's uh, give you an example of what 12 millimeter would look like. Okay, now we're at 12 millimeters. Now you'll notice the horizontal distance that we have is much smaller, but the field of view that provides a lot more detail. I'm much larger in the picture. And you, again, our drawing shows in the blue that your horizontal viewing distance will shrink, but things will get larger out of those distances. Okay, so back to the normal view here. So the rule is this, the, the key distance is 40 feet. If you need to see detail and identify face pit, or facial recognition at 40 feet or further, you need to be able to adjust the, the zoom lens. You need a zoom lens. Okay? Zoom lenses are affordable, and we'll talk about them in a second here. So the most cost-effective cameras are wide-angle cameras. They just have a wide-angle lens. You can't adjust. Once you mount them, and it's just seeing what it sees, that's it. And if things are too small, far away, you either have to move the camera closer, or you need to get a zoom lens, a camera with a zoom lens on it. The, the zoom lens are built into the cameras. You don't add them on. They're actually integrated right into the cameras, and I'll show you that in a second. The most popular, and we have a large selection of them, it is a manual zoom lens that goes from 2.8 millimeters, as wide as you can, all the way to 12 millimeters, all the way out to here. Now, that is so helpful when you're working with 40 feet plus, 100 feet, let's say 40 to 100 feet here, and you're trying to identify people out at the 100 feet, you just take the camera and you zoom the picture in until you're seeing what you want to see. Now the manual zoom in lens is manual. You do it during installation. So you take the camera, uh, here's, here's a camera with a manual zoom lens, nice little vandal dome. You take the camera mounted and you put either a person or a car or whatever you're trying to capture out there at distance and then you use the zoom and the focus right here and here and you zoom the picture in until you're getting the detail you want. That is incredibly powerful when you're working at distance because there's, you know, the chances of you selecting a six millimeter lens and getting it dead on, that's exactly what you need, isn't likely. But look at this wide range that you have with the manual zoom lens. You can go from this all the way to this 
just by the turn of a screw. Um, very effective that way. And here's another example. This is a bullet camera. This has got the zoom and focus on the bottom here. Um, this has a 50 millimeter zoom lens. This thing zooms way, way out here. This thing will get license plate at 150 feet. There's also pan tilt zoom motorized cameras. Here's a pan tilt zoom camera with a zoom lens on it, but it's motorized. So you can sit at the computer and you can zoom in and out. That is it. The key is 40 foot distance. From the camera out past 40 feet, you need a camera with a manual zoom lens or a motorized zoom lens so that you can adjust the field of view to see in exactly what you want to see. We get some calls from customers once in a while and they'll say something like, I have a parking lot and I want a camera to view the parking lot and read license plates. Even high definition can't do that. It's because of the lens that we just talked about. You would need a wide angle lens to cover the whole parking lot so that you would see any kind of vandalism on the cars and, or any accidental you know, wrecks or anything like that. But you would need a second camera that's zoomed into the entry point of the parking lot um, and you just go park a car out there and you adjust the field of view of that camera so it's reading the plates clearly and that's what its job is. It's just to read plates when the cars come and go from the parking lot. And then the other camera is wide angle. The most common mistake customers make is trying to get one camera to do the job of two. Now on our website, each detailed product page for each camera has a green chart with uh, lens distances on it. And so it will show you um, the horizontal distance that you will see at the different dis distances from the camera. So when you're selecting the right camera, refer to that chart. It makes it really easy for you to figure out which, which camera and which lens that you need. If you have any questions, just give us a call. We'll be glad to help you select the right one.